In this video, we will show you how to export your ebook as a mobile app. Exporting your ebook as a mobile app allows you to publish your book right away to mobile app stores such as Google Play or Apple App Store. This will expand your reach to a wider audience. To export your ebook as a mobile app, go to the Export tab here. Then navigate to Export Mobile Apps in the left panel. Before exporting your mobile app, you will have to enter your app information in this section here first. You can enter the name of your app in this box here. Next, you can enter a unique package ID for your app here. This ID is what will distinguish your app from all others on the mobile app platforms. Write your app version in this box here. And with each update to your app, you should be adding a greater value for the app version so it would be clear which version is more recent. With the orientation option, you have control over how your app is displayed to readers. You can choose to display your app in a specific orientation, either portrait or landscape from the drop-down menu here. Alternatively, you can select all, which allows users to choose their preferred orientation. Before the app starts, a splash screen is shown for a few seconds as the app loads. This option here called splash color allows you to choose the color of that screen. The Permitted Devices button here allows you to create a list of devices that are allowed to access your app. You can identify each device using one of a variety of ID standards for the device. Note that this feature is not supported for iOS devices. If you want to earn money from monetizing your app through advertising, check this box here next to Display Ads to enable in-app ads using Google's AdMob. Afterward, select your desired ad format such as banner ads, interstitial ads, or a combination of both. An AdMob Publisher ID is needed here. If you don't already have one, you can create a new account through this link here. Once enabled, you can start earning revenue from ads displayed within your app. Finally, checking the box next to Optimize here will decrease the size of your ebook by removing any unused images or files. However, if you've manually added images through the file manager that will be accessed using JavaScript, then it's not recommended to optimize your ebook. The next step is choosing the mobile platform that you want to publish your ebook app to and click on Enable. Then add all the information needed for the app to be exported, then click on Generate Apps. To know more details about adding information needed for both platforms, Check the video titled Exporting the eBook as an Android or iOS app. Uploading a mobile app onto an app store requires some screenshots of the app. These screenshots are essential for providing potential users with a visual representation of the app's interface and features. You can do it manually by going into the customization window here, where you can take screenshots of your app on the device of your choice. You can then add labels and highlights using any photo editor. You can also auto-generate screenshots through the export screen. From this drop-down menu, you can choose the chapter from which you want the screenshot to be taken. And when you press Create, you will then receive multiple screenshots of this chapter displayed on various phones and tablets. You can then repeat this step for other chapters if needed. And that's it. In the next video, we'll show you the full details on how to export your ebook as an Android or iOS app. Stay tuned.